It was the 6888 Poster Battalion, also known as the 6888. The 6888 was the only all-black, all-female battalion to serve overseas during World War II. Millie served in both England and France under the command of military pioneer Major Charity Adams. Her unit sorted and routed tons of long-awaited mail under the motto, no mail, no morale. At just 101 pounds, Millie commanded respect by all and posed a striking figure in her Women's Army Corps uniform. <laughs> that picture was taken in Birmingham, England by a family, by the Adams family, who invited me each weekend to come for tea. I was with that family all the time that I was in Birmingham, England. I shall never forget them. Nor will she ever forget Victory Day over Europe. VE Day, I was on V from Birmingham, England, in London. I never shall forget that we were going, coming up a hill and going down. The band started because you can get tired of whatever you're going to do, marching, you see. Even now, I can see the joy and the kinds of exuberance that one had under Big Ben. <laughs> Millie defied tradition again when she returned home after the war and earned her college degree at St. Augustine's College. She worked directly with the college president, then emerged as a civil rights pioneer, heading up the local NAACP as its first woman president. She remembers her personal experience with the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., hosting him at her sister's home when he visited in 1966. I found him to be a most remarkable young man, always with dignity, and was always interested in what you were doing and in what that individual was doing and to inspire them to do even more. Knowing the great Dr. King placed Millie Dunfeasy among a unique group of living Americans, and you could say her circle was made complete when this woman of the greatest generation got to salute a pioneer of today's generation. I also got to meet President Barack Obama on September the 28th, 2016. It was a visit of a lifetime. You know, I said it's an honor to stand with the young women in the military of today and to salute our Commander-in-Chief. And that's it. Millie Dunvisi, World War II veteran, civil rights pioneer, worthy of celebration, a woman inspiring to all. <laughs>